Hey there viewers, it's Charlie on Mac again. And well, if you remember my previous review, I said that I'm going to start a gigantic Generation 1 marathon. And well, let's get started. S starting off this G1 marathon is... Sunstreaker. Now, I'll, I'll say right off the bat, this isn't an authentic Sunstreaker. This is one of those KOs. I wouldn't say high quality because as you can see... The stickers are complete shit. Got a bit, bit of looseness with the little back panel. Plus a bit of paint shipping. So yeah. This is why I recommend you, this is why I recommend that you stick with authentic figures rather than going with these KOs. Because well yeah. Well, having a 360 of Sunstreaker, as you can see, we have the rub symbol, which pretty much every G1 figure between 85 and 88 had. If I rub it, well, you can sort of see, I can just... Well, you can see that he's an Autobot. And there's something on my fingers. <laughs> yeah, we have the rub symbol. We have this, which is supposed to say CR. I have no idea because this stick is just pretty much gone on this side and it's ripping on this side. The back. I want to say the other side. The underneath, which has no robot junk underneath, which is amazing. And if I can read this. It says, I'll read this off screen. Hasbro 85, Takara 85, Japan. So, yeah. So at the top, where it says Countach, because this guy is a Lamborghini Countach with an exposed engine. Uh, if anything, like, I think this is cool. As right, I remember. Sunstreaker, well, before Transformers, Sunstreaker was the first fully vehicle the robot trans, well, not Transformer, but figure ever made, along with Ironhide. Although I currently don't have the G1 Ironhide. I mean, <laughs> if I ever get him, I'll have to find some way to give him a head. Let's just leave it at that. But yeah, back back in the Diacon days, Sunstreaker was the first robot. Well, the first fully vehicle to robot figure ever made, from what I can remember. And speaking of Diaclone, this bit can lift up, so if you have any of the drivers, you can, you, well, you can fit one in here. <laughs> so that, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. Because, well... The other Lamborghinis in G1 that I can even think of off the top of my head, aside from this guy, are Sideswipe, Red Alert, and Breakdown. And I guess uh, if you count the GoBots and also Spoiler. But anyway, before we get on with the transformation, here is Sunstreaker's box. And this is pretty much the only G1 box I actually have right now. Granted, as I said, it's a KO or a reproduction, but still, it is cool. So we've got the the front with Sunstreak himself. It says that he transforms from a race car or Lamborghini to robot and back. Autobot Warrior Sunstreaker, each is five and up. The top, which actually shows the transformation. The side, which shows Sunstreaker. The other side, which also shows Sunstreaker. The underneath, which also shows Sunstreaker. And well... <laughs> the underneath of this is actually quite unique, because... If you look at the more modern figures, say from... 
like the Prime Wars and the War for Cybertron trilogy. Well, the other, well, the underneath of those boxes are quite generic. Not my only showing a bit of licensing. But hey, the G1 boxes were able to style it up a wee bit. Because this shows what he comes with. The back of the ever so famous space battle. And the sun streaker right there. And here we have his text back, which I'm just going to read. Nope. Function, warrior. They can't be the best. Damn right. The complete, the complete ego test. Sunstreaker thinks he is the most beautiful thing on earth. Well, what of me? He's got some competition. He loves his, he loves his sleek styling, and is contemptuous of other Autobot race cars, particularly his twin Sideswipe. Sunstreaker fires laser-guided ground-to-air rockets and high, and high-energy electron pulses. At 300 bursts per second. Tough polymer steel skin resists artillery. He's not a team player. And can be baited into dangerous situations. But it's still a very calm, competent, and ruthless war machine. And here we can see the actual tech spec part, which... Well, if you remember, you were supposed to use these decoders to... Lay them on top so you can actually see his stats. Which, well, I mean, it was a pretty fun gimmick, but yeah, but yeah. So, Sunstreaker has got a uh, five in strength. He's got a uh, six in intelligence. He's got a uh, 7 in speed, 8 in endurance, 5 in rank, 7 in courage, 7 in firepower, and a 6 in skill. And trust me, that was a bit hard to read. It's not, it's not like the Energon figures with their cards, because... They were way easier to read. But that's pretty much it for Sunstreaker's vehicle mode, so let's get on with his transformation. Well, what I like to do first is move this little panel down, get the arms, and move them out. Then you can close this back up. And... I <laughs> I like to repurpose this as sort of a flying mode, similar to what Trax had. So yeah, now you can have a super flying hover Kuntosh. We'll then take the front of the car, extend that out. Move out the... We'll move out the front of the car to form his feet, and then... Well... Open that back out again. Take the entire windshield section, move that up, and then just close it up there. Close this back up. Throw and raise your phone a bit. Come in here, lift this up, and that Sunstreaker's head. And see how this was G1? He has parts forming. Normally, he's supposed to have little rockets that can go onto his shoulders. As seen here, you see, but well, those ones broke on this figure. So currently, he doesn't have this yet. But here we have his fist that plugs in. Well, I'll show you this first. He has a rocket that can plug in, and if you remember, G1 figures normally never fired that well. Well, look at this one. That fires hard and fast. So, yeah. Well, this one, the spring actually broke, so I had to remove it. So now, it can get a bit loose. This can come out by itself, and the fist often turns by itself. 
So yeah, this this arm sadly doesn't have a spring in it. But yeah, this is pretty much Sunstreaker in his robot modes. Having the 360, we can see that the back is actually a bit flat, aside from the, the spoiler there. As you can see, he's pretty much just got one heel for both feet. So yeah. Now coming now coming for a look at his head, we can see that Sun Streaker's head is well, it has these little fins at the sides. As you can see here. And from what I can remember, the, the G1 cartoon sort of made these a bit pointy looking. Yeah, aside from the, the little ears, his head is pretty much gen generic. Now, coming in for the art... art uh, I can't even speak. Coming in for the articulation, of course the head can't move, because G1 figures rarely ever had that. Although I guess he can nod, if you want to. Arms actually cannot move up at all. He can shoot you with the missile, so I'll just move these out for now. He, he's actually able to T-pose, which is more than most G1 figures can do. And any figure that can T-pose is instantly awesome. But, well, that pretty much ends it for the articulation. There's nothing at the legs, because they're joined, so he can't move these up at all. He can't do the splits. Oh, well, I guess if you want to, the feet can move. But yeah, his articulation is pretty much non-existent. It's just the arms, and even then, they don't really move up, so... I mean, come on, even the GoBots figures were able to move their arms up. But yeah, that's not my only complaint. My... My other complaint is... And this is just relegated to the KO figure. The stickers suck. The springs can break a scene with this fist. And well, yeah. But yeah, those are pretty much my only complaints. The, the fact that he can't move his arms up that much and the springs can break quite easily. And the stickers are utter bullshit. But other than that, I quite like this figure. So, that's pretty much it for my review on Sunstreaker. So, do I recommend him? Well, if you're a G1 fan, then definitely. Because this guy is, well, he looks rather cool. As I said, he was pretty much the first Transformer ever, technically. And well, if you have Sideswipe, which ironically I don't, then you should pro then you should really have Sunstreaker as well. Although, seeing how this guy has never been officially reissued, the only way you can the only ways you can get this guy is if you go for a vintage one, or if you just go for a KO like what I did. Now there are a few pros and cons to buying a vintage figure and a KO. Pro. Well, the vintage figure pros are, well, it's a, it's, a, it's authentic, and well, it's authentic, it has, well, it's, it's less likely to have crap stickers, it's less likely to be faulty and break, but the cons are, they can get pricey, and well, often... They, they can be broken, or just missing pieces, because... How many times have you seen Starscream for sale without his wings? Or his hands? And for Sunstreaker, this is no different, because you have the, the... Well, the shoulder rockets, the fists, the missiles... 
and even the back panel can be, can be missing. And for buying a, a, a knockoff or, or well, the unofficial reissue, I mean, granted, I mean, granted, they can be cheaper at times. They can be mint, so if you want to have like a mint figure in box, then having a KO is not bad. It's a better way to get a figure complete. But cons, well, come on, they're unofficial. They can be all rigged and shagged at times. And not to mention, often they can take for God knows how long to arrive. I mean, imagine waiting weeks for a figure, opening up from the from the eBay box and then realizing it's a shagged figure or the foot fell off. Cause I, I, I once had a KO Blitzwing and his foot fell off, so I just got rid of it because it couldn't even stand at all. Worse than my GoBots can't stand. So yeah, if you must get Sunstreaker. Kia's not bad, but I recommend getting an authentic figure if you have the money. So, that's been my review on G1 Sunstreaker, or in this case, the KO G1 Sunstreaker. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.